Hey guys, welcome back to the Neighborhood Go-To Guide. Today we're working on a pull-on model 3314. Got it from a buddy from work. He told me it starts and runs, but when he puts it down, sometimes it dies out. And here's the saw itself. Okay, so what I want to do next is trying to see if I can start it myself. So I was able to start the chainsaw following the startup instructions. So I started it and let it run for about five minutes. And it, he was right, every time it went to idle, it would start to bog out. So it's telling me it's starting for fuel. It was really snappy and responsive, so that tells me that the high side is good. I'm going to turn the low side out counterclockwise. That will allow more fuel into the carburetor. So by turning the low screw counterclockwise about a quarter of a turn, at idle it doesn't bog down. And because the backstory on this is it starts intermittently and runs intermittently, I do still want to take this apart and see if it needs some clean. And to gain access to the top cover where I don't want to get down to the carburetor, I'm going to remove three T25 screws. And once you've loosened those T25 screws, you can go ahead and take the top cover off. Now we'll take off the air filter housing. And before I get down to take the two bolts out of the air filter housing, I'm going to go ahead and take the spark cap cover off so that I can gain access to the spark plug. And this spark plug, I'm using a 3 quarter inch socket. To remove the spark plug. So I'm just going to go over to the wire brush in the file and clean it up just a little bit. But for three or four dollars, just go buy a new one and have this one as a spare. Not sure if you can tell, but it does look better. I'm gonna use a 516 socket to take off the two. And once you remove the two nuts, there's a T25 bolt that needs to come out there. Okay, once you pull that out, you can slip the air filter housing out. Okay, once that's off, squeeze the trigger, disconnect your throttle linkage, disconnect two fuel lines, one on this side, one on this side, and, and once you do that, you can slip the carburetor off. Now this was an extra step that you don't have to do, but I always like to take it, um, take it apart and check out the carburetor because there's a good chance there's uh, just a little build up in there and if you clean it out, it usually helps the saw run better. But in this case, uh, this carburetor was fine, so this isn't the issue. Slip the carburetor back onto these two long bolts. Get down, we attach our fuel line, one here, and one down here. So all of the fittings are aligned properly before we snug it up and put the cover and bolts back on. And putting our linkage back together. Attach our linkage, we'll put the air filter housing cover back on, align it with the bolts. Now that we've attached our 5 16 bolts, we can go ahead and put our air filter back on and the cover. We can install the air filter and the cover. Grab our three T25 bolts and attach the top cover back on. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you're in a small engine repair, and you want to see more of these videos, be sure to like and subscribe below. And see you next time from the Neighborhood Go-To Guy.